you want to apply the scene set list monitor device to your Ableton live set, you just need to place it on a MIDI track. After that, you need to make sure that you will have a MIDI clip in every scene. You can do this by just double clicking on an empty uh, clip slot or if you press Command D while a clip is selected, Command D or Control D, you can just duplicate those clips here. You can now activate the pop-up window, bam, and there you go. And you can see when I'm selecting a different scene, it shows me um, which scene is currently playing or which scene is currently selected. And I will see the former scene intro in this case and the next scene, next one only is selected here. You can um, view up to the next three scenes in this device. It will show this as well. So there are two modes. Um, depending if the transport, if Ableton Live is currently running. So um, if I now select a scene here and press play, you can see um, this is the currently showing scene here, the outro. But, and when I select stuff, nothing is happening, nothing changes in the monitor window. So um, when I now press stop, it will show me the selected scene. So the monitor device will show if the transport is playing, will show the playing scene. And when the transport is not playing, it will show you the selected scene. You are obviously able to change the size of the pop-up window according to your needs. If you change the position of the window and if you want to have it stay there, you have to press S for saving its position. Yeah. So if I'm now changing my size, it will stay here. If I'm now moving it over there and press S again, it will recall the last safe position. The current window position is saved for your current session with this Ableton Live Set. If you're opening up the Ableton Live Set again, the position needs to be set once again. This is due to stability reason. For example, if you have a second monitor or a different monitor in your home studio and then you're turning up at your gig, you're opening up your Ableton Live set and the window is somewhere all over the place, that shouldn't be the case. So this way you just need to set it once when you're opening up your Ableton Live set. If you want to apply a set list as well, so if you have starting scenes or scenes which are starting a certain song, meaning you have your song separated in different scenes, you will need to mark the first starting scenes all with an asterisk sign like I did here. So uh, we have first song, second song, third song and so on and so forth. And um, if I press refresh here, as soon as I add something, um, you will see you have all the songs as a menu in here and you have as well all the songs as a fold foldable set list here as well. You can select the different parts and you can see in the background if we close this down that it's changing to the different song starting scenes here as well. If I select um, the song starting scenes in my menus. So if you change something, for example, you change the running order of your set. So if we put this down here, um, obviously there is a change for the set list menu. And if you add parts or more scenes, or if you change name of song starting scenes, you always need to press refresh. So, and now you can see our um, last parts here are updated in the different set list menus. So maybe you have a lot of songs and you have a spontaneous change in your uh, set list. So you might want to be able to scroll quick and easy through your set list. So you can do this with this device as well. You can use an external MIDI controller, a dial or a fader. You just need to MIDI map this, activating the MIDI map menu, select the set list dial on the device, then um, move the controller you want to use for that, leave the MIDI map menu. And now you can see I can dial through my set list here, the number 
of songs get distributed to this one uh, fader or dial and so um, there's a maximum of 128 songs you can select with one dial and you could even have the auto open function activated that means um, the set list won't show during your performance but if you want to change something quick you can just move this dial and the set list pop-up window fold-up window will fold up and fold down automatically you're able to put in text notes here to be shown as well. This could become very handy if you haven't played for a long time. So um, you need to switch on the clip notes view in the former field. You can do this on the main device as well. Uh, down below here, former show clip, which stands for clip notes. So now if we rename a MIDI clip, let's do one more with some more text so just to just to show you what's possible here so when i'm now selecting um the scene with those clips here or if they are playing you can see those notes are being shown in the former field if you use the scene setlist monitor in conjunction with the scene setlist monitor ipad version you can actually have different notes being sent to different players you just need separate tracks for the different devices so you have two very very exciting features here to be able to monitor how long a scene will be playing maybe if you have set up uh, scene follow actions um, so this will show you like um, when the next scene will be actually changing or when it goes to the next part so what you will need to do is you need to switch on the bar count down here and the bar line and let's set this clip to the length of our part and you need to make sure that the starting point is um, at the beginning and that the time signature is the time signature of this uh, current part. So this will work in, in 4, 8 and 16 notes. Okay, so um, if we now playing this part, you can see here it's counting down how many bars are left and it shows you like eight bars here, a grid which is representing how many bars you got in here and the red slider slides down so you will see this. So if we set this up to 32 bars for example, you can see 32 bars now here and the slider which will count down and this way you hopefully never gonna, um, gonna miss the next, the change into the next part. You're able to highly customize the colors and the view of the pop-up window for this device. So the size obviously can be changed to your needs. And if you open up this section here on the main device, you can decide where the device should or what the device should display on the top. So for example, if you want to start at the former field on the current field you can do that and you can actually add more uh, next scenes down below here so you can change the background opacity and the field opacity if you want to see something or want to have some view on what's happening uh, in your Ableton live set this could become handy you can switch on colors so for example if we have the color switched on for the song um, top field here it will change the color according to the colors of your scenes so if we go back we can use uh, the same stuff here for the current field and the current field we can decide if it should be like only colored on the side or the full field should be colored and the same for the others others would mean uh, the former field and the next fields and here as well we can decide how um, if they the color should be applied only to the side or in full so this could give you some more mm, overview and control um, to see uh, for example like this we can see if we go here the next song is starting um, and we can see this 
or we have like two parts left in this one song and then there is a new color coming so this way um, it might give you some better overview of hey here's actually a new song starting okay so there is one more um, edit function here which I call special edit because um, let's do this one example you might just want to need the uh, current and the next one and now you have all this um, um, part of this window which is still here and it blocks like you can't click through that so um, what you need to do is you actually need to press edit here and now you're able to apply um, and change the box here this way go out of edit models save this and this will is able to be recalled when you open up a new live or when you save this in with your live set you're able to recall this value um, for stability issues um, always when you change now the size or when you open up the menu the fold-up menu it will jump back to the normal um, size because if you're opening up the the set list menu here for example you want to see the whole menu you just don't want to see only this one part but as i said before if you want to click on recall here you can jump back to the saved special edit